The all-new Audi Q7 shares many similarities with Auckland's west coast. Its beauty, sheer size and its power. This is for sure 100% the most famous luxury SUV in the world, you know, because obviously it's slick look. It's just got such a good reputation for its drive. It's unbelievably effortless and you don't actually feel like you're in a big car. One of the nice features about it is the big grille on the outside it gives it, you know, such a big appearance, even though it's slightly smaller, but on the inside it's bigger than the previous one. One of the functions I love about the Q7 is the virtual cockpit, so it's almost like an iPad right in front of you, but you can get up like your driver assist programs on it, you can make phone calls through the screen, you can also access all your maps across there as well, change from your radio station to Bluetooth music if you'd like to. You can literally, you know, leave your phone in your pocket, leave your hands on the steering wheel and access everything through the screen. There's the 3 litre turbo diesel 160 kilowatt engine and then there's the 200 kilowatt 3 litre turbo diesel as well and that's what we're driving today. You know it's effortless the power, you know it's got an 8 speed Tiptronic gearbox so you're always in the right gear when you're wanting to put your foot down. With the SQ7 coming it's going to be an absolute weapon of an SUV. Five. The recently launched SQ7 is already causing quite a stir with a whole new level of power and speed. This is the fastest diesel SUV in the world and if you want one, you better get in quick. It's 0 to 100 in under 5 seconds, so for a diesel SUV it's unbelievable. From the get go, this thing is all punch. But yet it's a seven seater, you can take your family, you can take your friends, your kids' friends, yet you still have all that performance. The only car you'll ever need. The Q7 at Giltrap Audi, the car that has everything, now has even more. Look at this Audi Q7. It's a 2006 model and it's done 187,000 kilometres. 
but you'd certainly never know that from looking at it. It's champagne in colour. It's got 20 inch wheels, Audi wheels, which I think look the best on this model. And it looks like it's got all new Cooper Discoverer tyres. Just look at the interior. It's got Bluetooth, a reverse camera, two remote keys, a very good service history. Looking at the logbook, I can see a, a belt and water pump change. It's just amazing. You see some of these Audi Q7s with 60 or 70,000 kilometres, and they're nowhere, they're in nowhere near as good a condition as this car. So it's champagne with beige leather interior. It's got rear blinds. And I think it's incredible value for money. A lot of people say, yeah, look, you know, I'd, I'd rather find one with 120 or 140,000 kilometres, whatever it might be, which is great. But at these kilometres, you know that a lot of the work's been done, timing belts, etc. And with a diesel European car like this, it's really all about how it's been looked after. Over the years, I've seen Q7s like this one with 80 odd thousand kilometres, and it's had about two services in its whole life and I can tell you despite the fact it's got low kilometres it's not going to be a very good car. It's got the three litre turbo diesel engine. A lot of people also ask does it have the tow pack? Unfortunately it doesn't. The good thing though is that it hasn't been towing. It hasn't been pulling a three and a half tonne boat or a caravan or anything like that putting unnecessary strain on the gearbox engine mounts, gearbox mounts and the engine. It's got rear parking sensors, a reverse camera as I mentioned, and it's just gorgeous. I like the colour because I, I see a lot of silver and black cars with black interior and I just find them a little bit boring. That's right, it's a bit dark in there, but it is a seven-seater. We'll open up the back actually and have a look. So it's got an electric boot. Look at the carpet. It doesn't look like a car which have had children in it. So it's got the factory coloured mats. And the, I've done the same thing. They've bought some Audi, factory Audi mats which are black as well. Because if you live on a property or if you're in now the car in the wet, the carpets do get dirty almost immediately. There's some storage. It's got the rear cargo barrier there, or blind. All the back seats fold down. It is a seven seater, the seats are currently folded away. So I'll just press this button to close the tailgate. It was owned by a very fussy owner. He worked next door to a European workshop who specialised in Audi. And it's always been very well looked after. I mean, for me personally, I, I really do like to see cars with 150, 200, 250 or, or even 300,000 kilometres which have been looked after because it's just really nice to see. We've had a number of impressive cars through here with up to 450,000 kilometres. In good condition, we had a Volkswagen Touareg with 440,000 kilometres from memory. And that was actually a very good car because it's been looked after. There's your two remote keys. It doesn't have a sunroof, but for me that just gives you extra headroom. If you're tall, you don't have to worry about parking outside and your sunroof leaking. Even the wheels look brand new. I don't know if they've been fully refurbished or if it does have new wheels. The headlights are very good as well. That's just a reflection from outside, but they're nice and clear. They haven't oxidised. I don't think this is a car which has been parked outside for long periods of time. And overall, it's just a very impressive car. The three litre turbo diesel engine is economical and reliable. These have a great towing capacity. This engine is used in many different makes and models. 
so parts aren't a problem. If you've been looking at these Q7s, I spoke to someone today, in fact, who had looked at a couple and was a bit, un a bit upset by the condition, which is understandable. This is a 2006 model. It's been around for 10 years. Potentially one of these cars might have had a family of six in and out of it for 10 years, going to sport, soccer, the snow, the shops, whatever it may be. And, and you know what, over, those, over that 10 years, they're gonna get some bumps, scrapes, scratches, etc. Some are worse, worse than others, and some are actually the exception, which is this car. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We are the Old Timer Centre. We specialise in European cars and we have a number of seven-seaters in stock. Thanks again for watching.